Yermiyahu, Jeremiah 14. The word of Yahuwah that came to El Yermiyahu concerning the drought. Yahuda mourns, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Yerushalayim is gone up. And their nobles have sent their little ones to the waters. They came to the pits and found no water. They returned with their vessels empty. They were ashamed and confounded and covered their heads. Because the ground is chapped, for there was no rain in the earth. The plowmen were ashamed. They covered their heads. Yea, the hind also calved in the field and forsook it, because there was no grass. And the wild asses did stand in the high places. They snuffed up the wind like dragons. Their eyes did fail, because there was no grass. O Yahuwah, through, rather, though our iniquities testify against us, do it for your name's sake. For our backslidings are many. We have sinned against you. O oh, the hope of Yashadael, the Savior thereof in time of trouble, why should you be as a stranger in the land and as a wayfaring man that turns aside to tarry for a night? Why should you be as a man astonished, as a mighty man that cannot save? Yet you, O oh Yahuwah, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not. Thus says Yahuwah unto this people. Thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore Yahuwah does not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Then said Yahuwah unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword, and by the famine, and by the pestilence. Then said I, Ah, Adonai, Yahuwah, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see the sword, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then Yahuwah said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spoke unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. Therefore, thus says Yahuwah concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I sent them not, yet they say, Sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed, and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Yerushalayim because of the famine and the sword. And they shall have none to bury them, them, their women, nor their sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour eth their wickedness upon them. Therefore you shall say eth this word unto them, Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach, with a very grievous blow. If I go forth into the field, then behold the slain with the sword, and... If I enter into the city, then behold them that are sick with famine. Yea, both the prophet and the priest go about into a land that they know not. Have you utterly rejected Eth Yahuda? Has your soul loathed Sion? Why have you smitten us, and there is no healing for us? We looked for peace, and there is no good. And for the time of healing, and behold, trouble! We acknowledge, O Yahuwah, our wickedness and the iniquity of our fathers, for we have sinned against you. Do not abhor us for your name's sake.
Do not disgrace the throne of your glory. Remember, break not your covenant with us. Are there any among the vanities of the other nations that can cause rain? Or can the heavens give showers? Are not you he, O Yahuwah Eloheinu? Therefore, we will wait upon you, for you have made us all these things. <laughs> 